Hey people, crafty creature here with a little, I don't know, update update of my like, polymer clay pieces. And I know I've already showed this one, but it's so cute. Because I'm redoing the, the video that it was in, I'm just going to put it in this one with the polymer clay stuff that I want to show you. So, it's a little container. I found the actual like, little box at Knob Shop. I think I paid a dollar for it. I used like over a block of just white clay on it. I'll just break it, shall I? That would be fun. Love Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, that's what I was thinking when I made it. I was going to enter it into um, Miss Trinity's 143's 5,000 subscriber competition, but I love it too much. I don't want to send it. I don't want to send it away. So that's that one. And this is what I made first to think of doing the the little the box. It's a tea light. I got the I got the the glass part from my cheap shop. Like I got it from Crazy Clark's, but you know, any cheap shop should have this plain little tea lights and I just covered it in clay did a little plain bottom another one with flowers I love the, the design and the reason I did this was I just wanted to use up I had um some canes like really really old ones from a couple of years ago and I wanted to use them for something and I thought oh a good idea. I, I watched a tutorial on covering glass. This gave me the idea, so I sliced up my cane and put little thin bits on it and then rolled it out with a roller. And then I made the little flowers and put it on and glazed it. That one. And this one, same thing, really old cane. Leftover, I just stretched it out so I could use all of it on on one of these. Now I've got these. They are little fairy houses that you can take the lid off. My friend actually thought of this idea and we made some and we thought for like when your kid loses a tooth instead of putting it under your pillow put it in the tooth fairy house because it's you know strange but cute so we did that one Stay there. and this one just did different colors different little flowers on the top bottom, little roses, and this one, pink one, different coloured flowers. It's hard trying to watch, watch what I'm filming and then handle stuff as well. It's strange. And this one, I did a little darker one to see how it turned out and I think it's too white. I don't know. It's just the white is too white. Or something. Something's going on there. I'm not feeling. Man. So that one. And then, yeah, it's just them. I want to show them off. I give all credit to my friend though because she's she thought of it. And she made me do one. And then I'm like, hey, it's actually really cool. Really cool idea. Good on you, Carly. So that's them. And then I, I made a bunch of these little clay flowers. Thank you. That's how that's how small they are. Very tiny. But the the awesome thing about these is I got all my scrap clay, like all the little bits that I end up just chucking in the in the container and they sink to the bottom and just sit there and do nothing. I got all them out and I put them on a on a dish. I'm like, okay, right, 
I picked a couple colours, I mixed them up, made all pretty colours out of it, used some some fresh colours as well. But I just wanted them to use up all my old stuff without, you know, doing something, let them sit there and stick together and go all horrible. And then I brought a, a big um, whoop, bulk pack of these little pins from eBay. I think I paid, I don't know, five bucks or something for a hundred of them. And all the flowers are, is they're five little balls rolled out, squashed, just with my finger, and then one ball in the middle that I didn't squash. See? Poking up still. But the only problem is I can't you can't glue them into the middle because it's it's not straight or anything. And that's a cute I made some into magnets as well. Yeah, just an idea to use your scrap clay. And I just felt like making a video, so I thought I'd do these. Okay, well, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And I'll show you my box one last time because I love it. And it took me hours and hours to do this. Absolutely love it. I might be putting it on my Etsy, I don't know. I might keep it. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye.